On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Over the middle complete. That's Robinson. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Now a swing pass, it's Edwards Alaire. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now the Chiefs bring on their field goal unit. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. To the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady buying time to his left. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. From midfield, here's Brady. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. Well, Charles, you, you think about these two teams, and think about how long it's been since we've had the same two teams play in the Super Bowl back-to-back -back years. You have to go back to the Cowboys and Bills, almost 30. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. I'd have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because at his age, with his speed, or should I say lack thereof, the only rushing touchdowns I would expect are on quarterback sneaks, but here he found all of his guys covered, and he said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the touchdown, I don't know what will. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. 
And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Mahomes to throw once more. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. And he stopped immediately there. And this Bucks defense, you remember, pretty stout last year, the number six overall unit in the NFL. And I think that as the season wore on, and you pointed this out to me as well, you start to see some of their rookies begin to figure things out. And they played a little more like a top two or three defense down the stretch. And I would say that in the playoffs and through the Super Bowl, they were truly the best defense in the NFL. On first down, Mahomes. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. now on first down and nowhere to fit that football in it's knocked away and incomplete here's second and ten working from the gun Mahomes and down he goes a Buccaneer sack Vita Vea the defensive tackle getting in there for a loss of five I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Leonard Fournette, 95 yards. And the Bucs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. 
Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach.